One line in, sweetie. Set me up with your checks. Maury's always complaining about his ulcers. Yeah, well, I don't know what line Moore's in, but uh, myself now, I'm a kind of hustler. This week on Double Take, the oldest profession from a male perspective. That was a scene from 1969 Oscar winner Midnight Cowboy, John Schlesinger's tour de force starring John Voight as Texan Joe Buck, who comes to New York hoping to make his fortune servicing rich Park Avenue ladies. Well, I'll tell you the truth now, I ain't a for real cowboy, but I am one hell of a stud. As Razzo, Dustin Hoffman plays a hustler of a different sort. He offers to act as the cowboy's manager. I'm walking here! I'm walking here! In a recent interview, John Turturro told me it was Midnight Cowboy that was definitely an inspiration for his New York set film, Fading Gigolo. It opens Friday. Turturro wrote, directed, and stars in the film as Fiorvante, a middle-aged florist who agrees to help out his struggling bookstore owner pal, played by Woody Allen, by taking on some special clients. And he's not delivering flowers. This makes it official. I'm your hoe. American Gigolo starred Richard Gere as a Los Angeles stud for hire. Hello, Judy. You got a sexy lady. Although it offered more style than substance with a great soundtrack featuring Blondie and looks horribly dated today, back in 1980 it helped cement Gere's star status and made Giorgio Amani a household name. Finally, we have Deuce Bigelow, the comedy series starring one-time Saturday Night Live cast member Rob Schneider, who exited SNL seeking a movie career. I'm Deuce Bigelow, your man whore for this evening. Said the late, great film critic Roger Ebert of Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo, it's the kind of picture those view and brew theaters were made for, as long as you don't view. That's it for Double Take for this week. For all you need to know about movies, check out the Toronto Star and thestar.com.